Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Teams and how to enable your video feeds. Um, if you find this video useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It does mean a lot to the channel. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just within my team section here and what I want to do is actually just jump down to um, my supply chain team and meetings and then what I'm going to do is click on the meet now button. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the meet now functions, um, do go check out my Microsoft Teams playlist where I talk about um, how to use the meet now function uh, and its purpose within Microsoft Teams. Um, right, so with the meet now function, straight away we have um, a few different options here. Um, so depending on your particular setup, will vary these kind of options. So obviously they have the camera on or off, um, or the ability to even switch to different cameras. Um, so if you have multiple cameras in your system um, and it's recognized, you also have the ability to switch those particular cameras as well. Um, from here, I'm just going to give this a quick name, call it a test meeting, um, and then I'm going to click meet now. Okay, so now I'm inside a team um, video chat meeting, right? So now I'm inside of this particular team meeting. I have the ability to invite people if I choose to. Um, or I can just um, close that down. Okay, so straight away, I actually have no camera feeds going into this particular um, video call. So what I want to do is actually activate my camera. To do that, you just need to move your mouse until this control bar appears. Once this has appeared, you can literally toggle your camera on and off. Okay, now for me personally, because I'm actually using my camera to record this video, um, I can't actually use the camera in two different feeds. So it's not actually appearing here. However, because I have multiple cameras um, registered with my uh, desktop, there's an option in the bottom right hand corner to actually switch the camera feed going in. Now, the other camera also isn't working at the moment, so that's not working, but you also have that ability to toggle between the um, cameras if you have them. Okay, now that's within your control. Okay, so I can obviously click on here and I can go to more actions um, and I can do th different background effects on my camera feed. Um, so if I wanted a blurred background, I can do that as well and I can apply it. If I wanted that background there, I could apply that too. Um, and away I go, right? And then I can just close that down. So um, it's a lot that you can do with your um, video feeds once you enable them. But the, the, the thing that you're going to need to do to actually enable it is make sure you have a camera plugged in that is functional. Um, and then actually toggle your camera on and off. Okay, just like so. Um, now, if you're thinking, okay, well, I, I can see myself, but I can't see um, other people's feeds, then chances are they haven't actually enabled their videos, um, and that is why you're not seeing them. So if you see um, just like your their initials coming through and you have nine um, different cameras in your uh, feed here with nine different initials, that's not your end, that is their end. They haven't toggled this particular button to turn their camera on if they have a camera plugged in. Um, so those are the two things you have to just consider. But in order to enable your video uh, and for people to be able to see you, you need to be um, toggling your camera on. And then obviously, as I said before, once your camera is on, you have the ability to then um, show background effects and choose something um, that you guys, you know, you might like to actually use um, as your background image in the uh, video call itself. Um, so it all depends on personal preference. Um, as you can see from um, my personal um, image in the bottom right hand corner of this feed, I actually use the office um, here um, as my background which is super strange that actually now I am floating there in a frame <laughs> um, so I'm going to just change that quickly um, let's go for something like this one and that's still popping up okay that was super weird 
I'm going to close it off. Okay, um, and apply. Right. Um, so that's it guys, just make sure your camera is turned on and that you have it plugged in and you should be good to go. If you found this video useful then please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell, it does mean a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.